Kite Jed Walters here and in today's episode of how to play we're going to look at how to play a shot when the ball is below your feet. So I'm in the fairway here in the middle of the fairway I'm on the par 5 16th here down at North Foreland and we've got probably about 220 into the green. It's a bit downwind and it's a bit all down towards the green so a bit above the level of the green here. I'm going to hit my six iron anyway just to give you a an image of how to play this shot, what technique we want to change from our normal shot. Now, relative to the level of the slope depends on how much more we want to get ourselves into, if I look this way for you for a minute, into a more sort of squatted position. So we want a fraction more knee flex than normal. So if I was to take my normal setup here, you can see because everything's sloping this way, that for me to get the club to hit the ground, I've got to sit the knees a little bit more. I've got to squat a fraction. Now, I don't want to get into this position. So what I'm going to do, rather than just do this bit, I'm actually going to tilt forward a little more as well. So if I tilt forward a little more, club gets a little lower. And then if I sit the knees a little bit more, then we're in position there. Now, it's important that I hold this position all the way through the swing. Because if I come out of this more flexed position with knees and upper body the ball is just going to get missed i might thin it i might top it because i've come away from that lower point in the ground that's a critical point when we're playing the ball below our feet so we want to make sure then that from that point of view we stay in the right place our ball position generally will be maybe a fraction further forward than what you would normally have it for your six iron swing, which I've got here. So I'm gonna have a fraction further forward than normal. And we're only talking the width of the golf ball, I'm not talking masses amount forward. Now, because the ball is a little bit below my feet and I'm bent over a little bit more, my swing is gonna have a slightly steeper plane than what it would normally have. My angle of attack will be a little bit steeper. So my swing path will be moving more to the left than usual. So because of that, my club face potentially could be a fraction more to the right than usual. And I could be coming across a little bit and I might hit a bit of a left to right fade. So I'm going to take that into account when I take my setup. So key number one is getting those setup changes tilted forward a little bit more, fraction more knee flex, ball a fraction further forward in the stance. Key number two is because of this more upright position that we're going to be swinging in, we want to aim a fraction to the left to allow for the, the possibility of hitting a little bit more of a left to right shot. Key number three is we must make sure that the club hits the ground. We want the bottom of the club to go down through the ground and that ensures that we maintain our posture all the way through. Those three key principles will get you hitting really good golf shots off a ball below your feet situation. So here we go. So I'm taking my setup position. Ball's a fraction further forward than it normally would be. I'm aiming at touch down the left hand side. So I'm going to sit the knees a little bit more. I'm going to bend forward a little bit more. I'm going to hold these postured positions. The club's going to be swinging a little bit more down. I've got to make sure that the club then makes its contact with the ground at the bottom of my circle. So nice and smooth. Here we go. That was absolutely perfect. I couldn't have hit that any better. It's moving a hair left to right through the breeze and it's just maybe 20 yards short of the green and you know I wasn't going to reach the green because I've got six iron and really I would want to be hitting maybe a five or a four iron to get it to the flag which is at the back of the green there but I've hit that we can see I'm going to move forward here so you can see I've hit that right out the middle of the club face so by keeping those key principles in place you're going to hit the ball really solid you're going to get really good contact. The club's going to brush the ground. You're going to get greater success from shots when the ball is below the level of your feet. You're not going to hit as many thins or tops. Guys, thanks for watching. Post your comments in the box below. Let me know how you play your shots normally from this ball below, whether you suffer with thins and tops. Um, 
and whether or not by putting these principles in place that you're having more success. Please comment in the box below. I want to hear from you guys all the time. Any other how-to shots you want to know about, again, post them in the comments box and I'll add them into the filming schedule. We'll get them uploaded for you very, very soon. As always, if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. Love to get as many thumbs up and likes as possible because then that tells me that you guys enjoy what's being put out. As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. The link is in the bottom of the screen there just to click share it amongst your friends as well let your friends know get them to subscribe more subscribers more people i can help as we move forward you can follow me on the social networks the links are in the description at the bottom of this video and i look forward to seeing you guys again soon thanks for watching